Oh, I just thought about those giant spiders that like sit in the olive trees. <laughs> I used to think I could have an olive farm. No. No? You can't touch them. Six on the west coast, but in central time that means it's like four in the morning. So I got up at five a.m. Felt like five, and I didn't sleep. Gross, you know? You know? No, I'm just gonna go ham since we're here. Now, up until like a few years ago, probably only like two years ago, like basically when I just started working, you know, I wanted to be a millionaire. I wanted to be a billionaire. I wanted to be very, very financially successful and I thought I was willing to do anything to get there. But I'm not. I've seen like a lot of my colleagues, they spend weeks, months, like so much time away from their loved ones and like their kids, like they have kids, they have families. And to watch them like give all of that time and that effort to their job only to be like let go with a snap of their fingers. Right now I have it separated per Chris's request, like by retail, and then there's a non-retail section at the bottom. It doesn't make me want to devote my life to any company. So maybe I'd be a workaholic if I had my own company, but to work for somebody else and like work 80 hours a week, and that to me is just ridiculous. No way. Nothing is so pressing that you have to work 80 hours a week on it. And I think in America, yeah, we're all about productivity and everything, but it gets to our well-being and I don't want to be like that and I don't want to get to you know 60 years old when I'm like forced to retire because I'm obsolete and feel like I have no purpose you know I want to have a rich life not a work life all right three two one